it at Funk. It would take so long to get out of the city. That's the uh, second major freeway I've crossed. I still got uh, what, 30 miles to go. And I got two more freeways to cross. And one to parallel for a while if I uh, have to reroute around the mountain. Busy place, huh? When we go buy our stuff in the stores, we really never think of it. Where does it come from? Where does it go? And then you walk by this stuff and you see square miles, literally, of warehouses. From where it comes to where it goes. And this is the middle point. Hello, friends. How are you all doing there? Yeah, you coming to see me? This is pretty interesting. Look, after miles and miles of warehouses, probably four miles of them, and look what I come up to, my friends here. Hi, friends. I'm gonna be moving along now, but I just wanna say hi. Have a nice day. All right? Look, we even have a pig. Okay, see you later. So look at this here. After about 55 miles of uh, suburban sprawl, here's the freeway coming from LA. There's the freeway going to LA. But after 55 miles, having to come from uh, that area there, finally getting out of suburbia and going into a little bit less dense area of um, I guess you'd call it semi-rural. But people would ask me, I guess, after 55 miles, what have you learned so far? And I think what I would, what I would say is that just think of one step at a time. Don't think of the journey ahead. Don't think of the journey behind. And don't even think of what the step ahead might be. Up, down, hard, easy. Just take the moment for what it is, enjoy the journey, and see what you see. You probably don't see much of it, but there's gads and scores and gobs of monarch butterflies just migrating on their way back up to California. So here's a welcome break in the middle of the day. I come down the road here. Look at this, I got this. Right over here. Wonder how many more of these I'll come across. Look at this, I got another friend here. Say hello. All right, I'll see you later. Well, looky here. It took me 70 miles to do it and five freeways across. But this will be the last freeway that I cross probably until, uh, I don't know, Kansas maybe? Uh, and uh, probably Colorado. How about that? Near State 10. Traffic's going to Palm Springs. That traffic is going to uh, Los Angeles. After a couple days in Cala Mesa, checking out the mountain up there, ain't going up there. Snow, ice, need crampons, snowshoes, three to five feet up on the summit where I'd be going. So. Uh, Onward to Beaumont, and then Banning, and then Morongo, and then uh, camp out on BLM land, Desert Hot Springs, and back up to Yucca Valley. Okay. Even after having checked with the ranger station by way of another guy, I was second guessing myself this morning as to whether I should go up there or not. <laughs> 
think I made the right call, right? Gee, I really did want to go up there. Oh, oh well, next time. church. Let's go in and say hello to the Lord. morning. On my way from Beaumont to Banning, as I started out this morning, I went to get some breakfast set up at the uh, bar at the counter there. Another guy came in next to me. His name's Brian. Howdy, Brian. Got to having a nice conversation. He's a truck driver living uh, just right over here in Beaumont. And uh, we're talking about life and family and things like that. So, uh, thank you very much, uh, Brian, for the conversation. And thank you very much for buying me breakfast. And uh, I'd also like to say that Brian and Laura, if you can get out there and uh, do that campground host thing, I think you'd like it. And also, going out to the desert, don't worry about those animals. They don't bother you. All right, so thanks again, Brian. down that way. Nothing down there except for the shining tracks. So I guess it's safe, huh? After a lazy day of just six miles and spending a uh, couple hours over at the library getting some stuff downloaded with their fast internet huh, and then getting something to eat, I get here to the uh, KOA campground. It's about, well, I got here about six o'clock. It's weird. Look at this. There's nobody around. Well, I should say they're around, but uh, they're all staying in their tents or in their motorhomes. Not one person is stirring except for this guy just right by behind me here who just walked his dog. Other than that, everybody else is Hiding? Maybe they come out at night. <laughs> Maybe I'll let you know in the morning what I find. I'm on a two-lane road here. It's not a it's not a single way, but it's actually a two-way road. How long do you think it's been since this road has been maintained? I'll give you a hint. The white stripes in the road. Remember in California? or I guess the rest of the country, those white stripes denoting each side of the lane went away in the 60s and they became yellow. 
So it's been at least since the 60s since this road has been maintained. How about that? Had a real tough hike today, all the way from Banning to Morongo, five miles. But say, uh, Sunny at Morongo Casino, thanks very much for getting me this room here. It's really great. And look, look at the view. I'll be here for the night, and onward and upward. Oh man, sensory overload. Don't think I can handle it here for a night. <laughs> oh well, the buffet's good. Now here I'm at the Morongo Buffet. Let's see how many, let's see how many rounds I can do. All right, count with me. All right, here we go, round one. All right, here we go for round number two. Ready for round number three, here we go. Keep in count with me, this is, that's right, number four. What, you do salad on number five? Number six, and can you believe it? I'm starting to slow down. <laughs> Finally, number seven, the work of art. Well, I just left Morongo Casino there. I stayed the night, and thank you very much, Sonny, for getting me all set up real early yesterday. I really appreciate it. So I'm still uh, doing my reroute around the mountain there. Got two more days and I'll be back on my original route in Yucca Valley. So Morongo, it's a nice place if you like it. If you like to stay there, I recommend it. And thanks again, Sunny. Take a look at this fading glow of the day as the uh, colors are playing with the mountain. The greens, some of the oranges there, snow capped San Jacinto with the clouds just kind of lollygagging around the sky. And how about that? No wind. No wind whatsoever, except for a little breeze. And with the moon in the sky, too. Not bad for a good night of camping. Where am I camping? Well, sleeping, sleeping bear is camping there, but I'm, I'm hiding out in the trees. <laughs> Nighty night. -night.